Hello everybody, it's Mr. Ben here at, uh, at school in room 17. I'm here all alone, so I, do, I don't have my mask on. Uh, you might not recognize me. Uh, you don't get to see me too much without a mask on. But uh, I'm here at school, and uh, uh, in case you couldn't make it on Zoom with us, I figured uh, you might want to check out what we did for small group. So uh, uh, we took a look at the pictures in this story here, Bear Feels sick. <coughs> oh, there, sorry. I would guess I was feeling sick, too. I had to clear my throat. But uh, are, are, are any of you feeling sick? I know I uh, some people might not be feeling good today, so I thought, you know what? We just took a look at uh, Bear Snores On. So this is another book with the same characters in it. So I thought maybe we'd check this out. So uh, uh, this book is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. There we go. So we'll do a picture walk. There we go. A picture walk. So we'll take a look at the pictures, talk about what we see, and then uh, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll read the story. So let's open it up here. Looks like last time in Bear Snores On it was winter time. Uh, this looks a little bit uh, a little bit nicer. There's leaves falling down. I think this story might take place in the fall or autumn. Uh, and it looks, oh, there was the bear's cave. We saw that in the story before. And there's the bear in the cave. Let's see. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of, oh, there's some leaves there. There's like a little, uh, a little bowl, maybe a washcloth. I'm not sure exactly what all that stuff is. What do you think it might be? Let's see. Oh, there's our friend the bear. He looks, he looks slightly confused. That's how I look most of the time. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Uh-oh, it looks like... Oh, he's got a blanket. <clears throat> it looks like he's trying to get tucked in. Oh, maybe... Oh, maybe a yawn. Oh, I should cover my yawn. Does that make you tired, too, seeing that bear with a nice... Oh, you know what? This kind of blanket, that's called a quilt. Those are so cool where you uh, take little squares of fabric and sew them together. I don't know how to sew. Do you know how to sew? It's a, it's a good skill. Let's see. Oh, and it looks like there was that animal there we saw in the story. That is uh, the hair. Hair. I know I don't have any. Uh, well, I got a little bit of hair, but oh, it's a different kind of hair. So this hair, um, you could call it a hair or a rabbit or a bunny. Those were all the names that we talked about last time. Oh, and there's the mouse. It looks like maybe they're coming to check on the bear. Is that what's going on? Oh, look at him over there. How does he look? Oh, his eyes look kind of droopy. Oh, he looks like he's got a very little frown. It doesn't look like he's feeling that well. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, and some more animals came to visit. Oh, I remember these. Yeah, so there was uh, that one. There was the badger and the mole and the gopher. Those animals all dig through the ground. And then, oh, there were those birds. I remember uh, we talked about this one here was a raven. So you might have heard of a, a crow or a raven or a blackbird. Or, uh, so they're all birds that are black, but this one is a raven. And that little one there is a wren. Isn't that wild? So they're flapping in. Oh, no, the bear is on his back. He's laying there. He's Oh, doesn't look like he's doing very well. Oh, and there's the hare. What's the hare doing there? Oh, gathering some sticks. Oh, Maybe they're making a fire. That's what they did last time so that they could brew some tea. Maybe they'll make tea again. I don't know. What do you think they what do you think they're gonna do? Let me see. Oh, the mouse looks like he's checking on the bear. He looks kind of sad still. Oh, it looks like they're making something here. They have a big pot and a stick. I don't know. Oh, what does the mouse have? Is that the mouse? That's the mouse. What's he got? Is that, oh, there's a little carrot. Looks like there's a carrot, maybe some potatoes. We just had potatoes at lunch the other day. Oscar ate about a dozen of them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, oh, and there's the, the uh, mole. He's trying to pat on the bear. Oh, maybe wiping him off there. Oh, they're all trying their best, it looks like, to help him feel better. Let's see. Oh, the hair there. He's holding up a little cup to give him a drink. Oh, oh, there's the oh the fire. Oh, I gotta oh don't touch the fire. Hats right there. 
there's the fire there. And they got that big blanket. They're trying to get Bear covered up. That's nice of his friends to help him out. Let's see. Oh, there's the raven there. I don't know. He's in con con. Oh, sorry if that was too loud. There you go. I don't know. That maybe they're talking about something. Maybe they're singing a song. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll find out when we read. Ooh, the story. Let's see. Oh, and it looks like the badger has a little spoon and is putting something in the bear's mouth. I don't know. Have you ever had uh, uh, medicine? Maybe mom, dad, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa. Uh, maybe they give you medicine on a spoon. It, usually it, it doesn't taste very good. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. But uh, I don't know. Maybe they're giving the bear some medicine? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh, there's the oh, there's the leaves. We saw those uh, early on. I don't know what they're doing with leaves. Are they trying to fan them off with leaves? I don't know. But uh, it looks like oh, there's another. Maybe that's a a handkerchief. If he doesn't have any tissues, maybe he's blowing his nose with that. I don't know. We'll have to find out. What else is going on? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it looks like maybe they made some pictures for the bear. It looks like the badger has a, a rainbow, and the raven has, that looks like a fish. Is that what that is? I think so. Oh, and it looks like, oh, that they're making more pictures there. That's a very nice thing to do, make somebody a picture if they're not feeling very good. Oh, and it looks like they're still checking on the bear. Oh, the, the wren brought a little flower. So you could bring a flower or a present. You could make a card or a picture. That's a nice thing to do. If somebody's not feeling very good. Let me see. Oh, it looks like oh they made like a little crown for the bear. That was a sweet idea. They were so nice. Oh, and they hung up all the pictures with the... Uh, oh, they used like a little clothesline. Just like when we put up our pictures here at school. That was a good idea. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Oh, the bear, I don't know, the bear is squinting. His eyes are very small. He's looking there. Oh, it looks like the, the hair is yawning. Oh, maybe everybody's laying down. Maybe they're all going to take a rest. That's a great thing to do. If you're not feeling very good, rest your body. That's a, a time when your body can heal itself. Isn't that cool? Oh, the sun's peeking through. Oh, here we go. Don't uh, blind yourself with the glare off my head. Uh, let me see. Oh, the bear's got his head up. The bear's looking a little happier. I see a little smile there. There we go. Oh, let's see. Oh, and bear's tumbling around. Oh, and bear has his big arms out. Ah, he, I think he's feeling better. He looks very happy now. I can see his smile. He's not laying around anymore. There we go. Oh, there's Miss Thelma out there. Hi, Miss Thelma. <laughs> But uh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh oh. Ooh, there. Ooh, is the mouse sneezing? I don't know. All the other animals, they they look a little odd. Oh no, is that what happened? I think all the other animals, they're all tucking up under the blanket. Maybe they don't feel good now. Oh no. Ooh, something was crashing out there. I hope everything's okay. Uh, but, oh, and now the bear is going to take care of all of his friends there. He's getting them tucked up. He's giving them a big bear hug. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, that's the pictures. That's our little picture walk that uh, uh, we looked at all the pictures and talked about it. Hopefully, uh, you had some good ideas, too. I'd love to hear about them. Uh, so, yeah, when you come back to school, you got to let me know. How, do you, how did you like the pictures there? Um, tomorrow, we'll uh, read the story together. If you can make it on Zoom, that'd be great. Or if you just want to check out the videos, uh, you can do that too. But uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope that you're not feeling sick. And if you are here, I'll send you some love. I mean, here you go. So I hope that lands right on your cheek. I hope it makes you feel a little bit better if you are feeling sick. And uh, I hope to talk to you again very soon. Bye, everybody.